powered by the Montana Television Network. This is Montana This Morning from Montana's News Leader. Good morning. Thanks for waking up with us here on Montana This Morning. I'm Augusta McDonough. And I'm Lewis Dorch. Hope you're having a great start to your happy Thursday. Happy Thanksgiving. Yes, happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Uh, Augusta, it's going to be some interesting stuff going on for this Thanksgiving. It was definitely a little bit foggy when we went outside this morning. Yes, yeah, so we we're going to be talking about a lot today. We're going to be talking about fog. We're going to be talking about winds. We're going to be talking about rain and also very warm temperatures. So, you know, Kalispell, the warmest <laughs> the spectrum. Of yeah, the, yeah, exactly. The warmest Thanksgiving on record for Kalispell wow. is 54 degrees. Set back in wow. 1960, they're already at 53 this morning. So, yeah, we're talking about some really warm temperatures out there. Dense fog advisory. So we do have some dense fog out there this morning. Actually, there were reports earlier this morning around 1 a.m. of some flights that were flying into Missoula having to be redirected because of the dense fog. Now the, some of that's lifted and we're expecting this to continue to lift. So I don't, don't think we should be dealing with that anymore, but we are going to have this dense fog advisory in place until around 11 a.m. this morning. So factor that in for whatever travel plans you may be doing. Then we have a wind advisory in place. This goes into effect this afternoon. Gusts 40 45 miles per hour and then if you're traveling east of the divide high wind warning in place for the yellow we could see gusts 60 to possibly even 70 miles per hour like i mentioned rain in the forecast as well we'll get into all this as we move throughout the morning thank you lewis in your missoula county coverage this morning it's the biggest retail investment in western montana and southgate mall's huge expansion project is entering the home stretch and although holiday shoppers will still be dodging some construction in the coming weeks much of the big project is nearly complete last year there were as many detours as discounts at southgate mall as contractors were at the very early stages of the mall's major makeover but for this black friday and holiday shopping season work is settling down well, they'll find the parking lot, the asphalt, the, all that stuff is done. Um, the asphalt went in on Saturday, and we're excited about that. Um, we also understand the Mary Street connection. In the next week or so, um, will be open, and uh, people will be, actually be able to use Mary Street to access uh, Southgate Mall. That Mary Street extension and the associated roundabout signals and new traffic flow were not only designed to make things easier for shoppers, but tie in with the surrounding neighborhoods. All part of Southgate Mall Associates' long-term plan to redevelop a facility now in its third decade, reflecting what shoppers are looking for today. The bike lanes, the new uh, sidewalks, the um, lighting and all those things, those nice amenities um, will actually make it feel like it's connected to the neighborhood. Construction work is continuing to turn the old Sears store into a brand new Lucky's Market, giving Southgate its first venture into grocery retailing and services. Yeah, those guys are going at it and um, getting the asphalt in um, this Saturday was key to them opening in the first quarter of uh, next year. The South expansion is topped off with a new AMC theater. It won't make an opening for the holidays due to some delay caused by the changeover from Carmi Cinema's ownership. I think all the things that are different than what we originally thought they were going to be are improvements to the theater, so the experience will be great for moviegoers. While the new AMC Theater in the Lucky's Market will be the main features on this southward expansion of the mall, mall managers are continuing to look to sign additional tenants, and they're very appreciative of their existing tenants for putting up with the long construction period. Yeah, the construction fatigue that can happen if the project like this uh, has been a lot easier because of the cooperation and collaboration collaboration with uh, the uh, retailers and the restaurants. They've been great um, and they've um, met the challenge and they've done really well. All ingredients for a project that will preserve over 1,200 jobs and create 375 new permanent jobs. In Missoula, Dennis Bragg, MTN News. It's estimated that the Southgate expansion will generate an additional $375,000 in property taxes every year. And in crime news this morning, a Bozeman man is charged with deliberate homicide accused of stabbing his father to death. 37-year-old Tanner Franks appeared in Gallatin County Justice Court on Wednesday morning, charged in the death of his father, William Franks. Prosecutors say in documents that shortly before noon on Tuesday, Tanner's mother reported to her neighbor that her son stabbed her husband. Bozeman police officers responded to the Franks' home and located William dead on the kitchen floor. During his brief appearance in court on Wednesday morning, Tanner claimed he had no understanding of what was happening to him. He's being held on a $1 million bond. 
Former Michigan State University and USA Gymnastics doctor Larry Nasser pled guilty on Wednesday to multiple charges of sexual assault and will face at least 25 years in prison. 54-year-old Dr. Larry Nasser was charged with molesting seven girls, mostly under the guise of treatment at his Lansing area home in a campus clinic. All but one of his accusers was a gymnast. He faces similar charges in a neighboring county and lawsuits filed by more than 125 women and girls. Olympic gymnast Ali Raisman, Michaela Maroney and Gabby Douglas are among the women who have publicly said they were among Nasser's victims. Sentencing is slated for January 12th, 2018 when victims or their representatives will be permitted to make impact statements. And a new Montana rape law is making the definition of consent much clearer. And that's good news for prosecutors, says Deputy Missoula County Attorney Su Susie Boylan. Supporters of the new state law say the old statute did not take into account the victim's natural reaction to freeze during an attack instead of fighting back. Before without consent was force or a uh, victim who was in a position of being incapable of giving consent because of age or because of extreme intoxication or physical helplessness, being asleep, being unconscious, those things. Um, what those statutes didn't catch, of course, were the victims who were freezing and not saying really yes or no. Um, and offenders take advantage of that. As of October 1st, Montana law changed the definition of consent to have sex. The presence of yes, physically or verbally, is now required to have consensual sex. And the absence of no does not mean that a person wants to have sex. That's a big change from when the old law was written, which did not take into account new information about how victims respond during and after an assault or any unwanted sexual contact. And in top stories this morning, there's a massive show of force in New York City today. The Thanksgiving Day Parade kicks off at 9 this morning. Uh, that's 7 a.m. our time, and police want to make sure everything goes smoothly. Laura Podesta reports from the start of the parade with details on security. Early risers are getting into the holiday spirit. Many here before sunrise to secure the best seats to watch New York's Thanksgiving Day Parade. It's like a kind of a family tradition to get here, get the front row seat, and then wait for the rest of the family to sleep in. Security is on top of mind. The NYPD says there will be a massive presence, including an officer positioned at every block along the parade route, canines and cameras. There will also be trucks filled with sand blocking intersections. The parade comes just about a month after a terror attack where a man drove onto a bike path on Manhattan's west side, killing eight people. We have people at high post. We have people observation teams. There will be sniper teams in and around looking at We will have undercover assets in a lot of different buildings. So there will be a lot that you can see out there and a lot you won't see. CBS News has learned the NYPD has been working with hotels on and near the parade route. Officers have trained staff on what to look for after a gunman opened fire last month in Las Vegas from his hotel room, killing 58 people. I'm a little concerned, I guess, but I'm not going to let it ruin this day for me. Three and a half million people are expected to turn out for this year's parade. The mayor of New York City says there are no credible or specific threats right now. Laura Podesta, CBS News, New York. One change this year, the annual blowing up of the balloons was done during daylight hours as an extra security precaution. Back in western Montana, meteorologist Louis Dorch has your Thanksgiving forecast, Louis. All right, thank you, Augusta. Good morning, everyone. Happy Thanksgiving. Hopefully you're having a great start to the Thanksgiving, and it is going to be mild out there. We're talking about record-breaking or close to record-breaking temperatures for today. Now, quick look at your temperatures outside this morning. I mentioned ju this just a little earlier, but Kalispell 53 degrees. Their warmest recorded temperature on Thanksgiving is 54 degrees. So we're already at that temperature. We're going to beat that by today with highs in the middle and upper 50s there. 39 in Missoula, 32 Hamilton, 49 in Sula, 51 Phillipsburg, 40 in St. Regis. Very mild, really warm out there. Now we are tracking rain showers, so it is moving in off of the Pacific. It is starting to make its way into western Montana, so moving in closer, we're already seeing some scattered showers. Now this is the main system here, so that heavier rain isn't going to get here till this afternoon and evening, but we are going to start to see a little bit of scattered shower activity already pushing in during the morning time and moving in just a little bit closer. We do have some light rain falling around Trout Creek over here towards Plains and Superior. It is going to start in northwestern Montana first and then slide into west central and southwestern Montana 
by late afternoon and during the evening time. We're also talking about fog. Now it's not as dense as it was earlier this morning, but we do have that dense fog advisory for places around the Missoula and Bitterroot Valley. This also includes I-90 East from Missouli, uh, Missoula up towards uh, Lost Trail Pass. Anywhere in this area, we could get uh, some dense fog at times, visibility less than a quarter of a mile. So here's your rain chances for today. Let's go ahead and time this out for you. Like I mentioned, we're going to see the rain showers first in northwestern Montana. So a 60% chance of rain this morning in Kalispell. We're going to see those rain chances really move in by the afternoon and late afternoon time. As we roll into the evening, though, that rain's going to move out and slide further south. So places in Missoula. Really not too bad of a chance this morning. You can see those rain chances really pick up though as we go into the afternoon and the evening time. Same thing for Hamilton, more light scattered showers during most of the day with the heaviest rain moving in by tonight. Here's your Western Montana forecast for other areas. We'll see 54 in Thompson Falls, 53 in Trout Creek. We'll see 52 in Libby, 58 for a high in Polson, 55 in Missoula, How about 59 in Stevensville, 57 in Darby. Again, rain showers start in northwestern Montana, hit west central and southwestern Montana later on this afternoon. Sounds like it'll be a little bit of a nicer day for your Thanksgiving. Yes, especially during the early part, and then we'll be tracking that rain showers later on. Gotcha. So if you're going to go out, this is the morning to do it. Yes, or maybe even doing like a little run, or you want to do something like that. Turkey trot? Yeah, yeah definitely. A little bit earlier. A little bit earlier. We'll be back right after this break.